Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Jen, how are you? Good, President Gibraltar. How are you? I am great. I was wondering if you would let me ask you a few questions for Ultimate Wells. We're welcoming new students to Wells College. Awesome. All right, let's go. So tell me a little bit about yourself before we get started. Well, I was born in uh, New High Park, Long Island. Went to college at Binghamton and graduate school at Syracuse University. And here I am in Aurora, New York. So you're a Central New York guy. I am. Is this house on campus? This house is on campus, Ruth P. Thomas House. So you're like right connected to campus all the time. Just walk right across the street. So during the day when you're really busy and you have meetings, um, where do you go for a midday pick-me-up? You know, sometimes I just come down here and sit on the patio and look Beautiful. at the lake. For me, the, the, the lake is just so rejuvenating. During the summer, when we get out of work, I many times will just come down and jump in the lake. That's awesome. So, I've seen you down there. I know. So students can tell, actually tell their president to go jump in the lake. Right? <laughs> Obviously, the dining hall has the best food, but if you're not eating in the dining hall, what's your favorite place in Aurora to get something to eat? Oh, gosh. I like to go to Fargo during the summer, go up to the golf course. Uh, Wells College has a golf course and get a sandwich up there. I heard you like cats. Can you tell me a little bit more about your cat thing? My wife, Lori, and I started years ago um, rescuing stray cats. And so currently we have six cats. And wow. my son has another four or five cats, and you can't probably see them. But right around this house, there probably are about another 15 wow. cats that we had spayed and neutered. Um, campus uh, club called the Help Me Outs, um, M-E-O-W. The students just got involved and they feed the cats and we've had them spayed and neutered and they've taken up residency here at Thomas House. What do you think is the not to miss Wells tradition? Like what's your favorite one? I honestly, for me, um, you know, we live at a time when honor is, um, I think, sorely lacking in our world. So for me, the relevance of our honor code means a lot to me. Basically, students new to Wells have to sign an agreement that says they will not lie, cheat, steal, or deceive, or conceal, and they adjudicate themselves through the collegiate court, and it really holds them to a set of values and principles that I think is so important today. So my last question for you is, what's one takeaway you have for our students? Like, What's one important thing you want our students to know about Wells, or coming to Wells, or joining our family? I think that any time a person is going away to college for the first time, it can be a little bit intimidating, a little bit scary. It's the first time that many of you will be on your own. I think um, a lot of people that come to Wells really find their voice at Wells. They figure out who they are as people. You're coming into a very caring community of people who um, want to be a part of your life and want to help you and support you. So for me, one of the things that I would say is trust us and, and we'll be there to support you in any way possible. Well, that's it. You got an inside look at President Gibraltar from his back patio <laughs> on Cayuga Lake and Ultimate Wells. Next stop. See you soon. Bye-bye. Now a selfie.